Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on the planet. And if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for Eve Online, and I'm Chance Ravine, the CEO of Wingspan Delivery Services in game. Hello, I've been saying hello to people in the chat for some time now. Jester and Wares, and a whole bunch of Glenn the Swift was here. I want to thank everyone for showing up. Hype, hype, hype. I especially like to thank my supporters from Patreon who make this stream possible, especially Sean Ricci, my top tier supporter. All right, he's the bed to my room, the bride to my groom, and then <laughs> and the tacky 90s <laughs> Mazda slogan to my Zoom Zoom. And I know Sean was in here, though I believe he left for the night. Uh, so Sean, I don't know if you're still watching. So hello, hello, goodbye. Um, perhaps we'll catch you next time. I want to say hello, everyone. And here we go. Now I have a very special, um, as people know that I, the the Proteus is much maligned uh, for me. I don't, I don't, I've never liked the Proteus. I don't like to talk about it or think about it. But, 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 uh, what I have here is I have two fits on me. I have a very special. Um, smart bomb fit on the Proteus. Now people have heard of this fit before, all right? Um, it was it was invented by a dear, dear friend of mine um, from Sudden Prolapse uh, back a couple years ago on EVE Online. He and I were very close. We were best friends, really. And the idea was to create a Proteus with the worm to your hole, there you go. To create a Proteus that was capable of doing something that no other ship could do and that is to instantly kill explorers, right? <clears throat> so let me talk about that. What does that mean? Let's say you have um, like a normal covert ops ship in this game. Let's say you have a normal um, Tengu or Loki, whatever it is, and you're on grid and you see a little explorer. It's a little guy running a site in a heron or something like that. And you're like, and you just feel like you'd like to end that person's life, okay? Now normally what you have to do is you have to decloak and then you have a five second recalibration that's assuming you have you know, perfect skills and all that. You got five seconds before you can even start locking them. So you decloak, and then you start trying to lock them. So now you have one second for the decloak tick. You got five seconds for the for the, the timer, okay? Six seconds, then you gotta start locking them. And assuming you're not set for insta-lock, it's gonna take at least two ticks, all right? So there could be, between the point where you decide to decloak, and when you would go to actually hit the other person, before you even can target them, there's gonna be like somewhere between like six to nine seconds, and that's double the time it's gonna take, triple the time it's gonna take for many of these kinds of ships to align. So then people are like, wait, maybe I'll hunt people in a stealth bomber. Stealth bomber has no cloak recalibration timer. It doesn't have any cloak recalibration. So what does that mean? It means nobody's in local here. That's fine, hold on a second. That is quite fine because I have everything else scanned down that everything scanned on or most of it? Almost everything. Oh, there's one side I didn't check. Okay, let me check that. Okay. Um, so then with a stealth bomber, you um, you don't have to have that recalibration time, right? As soon as you decloak, you can start locking someone. So instead of waiting five seconds and then you know one to three seconds to lock them, you just decloak and plus your frigate, you have a good scan res. So you decloak and lock them in like two seconds. So Instead of it being nine seconds, it takes you maybe one to three seconds to lock them. But that's still not instant, right? If someone were really on their ball, already aligned, or something like that, already sitting on a wormhole, they'd be able to just get right out. They'd be able to just nope right out of there, okay? So what if there was a ship that would allow you to kill someone the exact millisecond that you became visible? And that's what this ship became, okay? This ship became, <laughs> and, and again, at the time it was called the, the Dick Virus for, um, well, I think you can kind of see why. I don't need to get particularly, no one's in local, so I don't need to be cloaked. Hold on a second. I think you can kind of see what they're going for. I didn't name it. I think I've named my thing like Light Show, Light Show Extravaganza, all right? But what we have here, as you'll see, um, I've actually named this thing the Warhammer 21, 2.1K, is six large EMP smart bombs at 350 damage each in highs. So what this means is you don't even have to press the decloak button. What you do is you stroll up to a ship and as you are ramming it, and as your ship decloaks just by the nature of the proximity, you just slam all of your high slots, right? 
you hit all six of these, and you do 2,100 damage instantly. Like, it's literally not possible to react to. You'll just do the 2,100 damage on the spot. Now, if you're a Heron or something like that, and you have 1,300 hit points, you're probably going to meet an unfortunate end um, as a smart bomb. And, and what's great about this is, there's literally not, it doesn't matter how many warp core stabilizers you have because you're not even gonna get pointed or scrammed. It doesn't matter if you're aligned or not because you can't click warp. By the time you go to click warp, the ship is already visible and hitting you for maximum damage. And of course, if they survive the initial hit, there's still a scram in here to scram them. Uh, there's still drones. Um, there's some escape drones, EWAR. Um, we've got an ECM burst for um, the extremely unlikely but necessary uh, GTFO button. So yeah, you roll your face across the keyboard. You go, Actually, I have changed my keyboard bindings. That is a good point, by the way. I've changed my keyboard bindings slightly because I've just been having a lot of, I just haven't liked some of them. Hold on a second. I have another one here I haven't jumped through. I didn't jump through that one. Let me go over there. So what I did was I changed it so that normally I have like F1 through F4, F5 through F6, F7, um, I'm sorry, F1 through 4, uh, 5 through 8, and then 9 through 12 in rows here because my keyboard is, uh, is this Perex gaming keyboard and it actually, the, the F keys are separated in fours so that I don't have to look. I can just feel like this is F1 through 4, this is F, you know, like this. Anyway, sorry about that. Ooh, googly. Uh, anyway, so what I did was I actually created new slots, new high slots up here with different um, shortcuts, and I made tilde the, this one all the way over here. So I'm just going to put cloak on tilde all the time, which is going to help me a lot because other times I like I put the cloak on F1, but then it's like really being able to cloak and decloak is not the most pertinent thing that needs to be the closest to my fingers over here. Uh, so in terms of let's see this in action, now there is some downsides to this thing. Like you can't activate this uh, within a certain distance of a wormhole. That distance, I'm still outside of it. It's the, you can't activate it in a way that your smart bomb would overlap the wormhole. So see, I'm at 68, 64 right now. I can activate it, right? So watch, if I just um, roll my face on the keyboard like Ooh, look at that. And you'll, what you'll notice about this fit is you run a cap real fast. Because these are battleship grade weapons um, <laughs> that are not intended normally to be on a cruiser. Um, but it's very tight fitting. Hello. What, yes, it's a Proteus. It is a Proteus. Corky's here. Hello, Corky. Ah. The dude is so meta. Oh, man. So, sorry, I got a little bit of sniffle. So now watch this, I'm 4,000 from the wormhole, and watch, I cannot actually activate my um, smart bombs here. And I suppose the purpose is intentional so that you can't do something, like you can't have a fleet of people sitting around a wormhole at zero with smart bombs ready, and as soon as you hear a bunch of splashes, you'll just all start firing smart bombs. Like, they wanna make it so that there's a chance someone could survive uh, coming through. I, I'm, there might be other reasons why. It might have to do with server load or something like that. Um, so anyway, but what you could do, for instance, right, if you're in tactical view here, if someone were right on top of the wormhole, would, you know, a thousand off it or something like that, and again, just totally ready to jump through, 100% safe by all counts of measures, they would be safe. What you do is then you just get 7,000, 6,000 out, and then you just decloak and activate your smart bombs, and they're still in range to get hit, but you're not in range to hit the um, wormhole. And by the way, I've been trying to figure out I have a Microsoft Surface, and I've been trying to figure out a way to broadcast drawings into the stream. And I think I figured out a way to do it if I use PowerPoint, Office 365 online with a web browser uh, that's in the stream, because I'd like to be able to like draw things um, onto the stream every now and then, because you, you know, I mean, you, that's what makes you the fourth best commentator, right? You see the stuff, the NFL has it, then I gotta have it, that's it. If the NFL has it, then I'm gonna have it. Even if it means sickening losses, um, then yeah, that's a thing. Is that technical term, rolling face across the keyboard? Yeah, it's technical. It's technical, it's in the manual. Okay, no one's in this system too, ooh. Wait, did I come through here before? No, I didn't, that's weird. Hmm, hmm, I don't know if I believe it. Now, I'd, ru I'd love to run into a red giant wormhole because, what's up, baby? 
because those, I believe you get extra smart bomb damage or range or both. Um, yeah. So this ship looks interesting enough. It's orange, of course. Look at this. Here we go. It looks like a weird... It looks kind of like a... Yeah, it looks phallic, but it also looks kind of like a, a whale with no fins or something like that. Anyway. Anyway. Um, now, people say, Wingspan, wait a second. It sounds like your ship is capable of killing frigates instantly, and that's it. Is that fair to say? Yes, that's that's exactly what this ship does. This ship kills frigates instantly. Like if we if this this is like the oxyclean of frigates. Like it just just eliminates frigates. Bam! You want frigates gone? Bam! They're gone. Oxyclean does it. All right. Um, and there's not much else, but that's why in the cargo hold, what you'll see is I have a full um, fitting for a normal blaster Proteus. Okay, so I got. Um, you know, armor, tank, this stuff is for just travel fit stuff. Um, I got magnetic field stabs and armor reps. Oh, I, I also killed a, a Stratios yesterday with this fit. Heavy neutron blasters, I got ammo, I got more drones, I got this guy's corpse that I took from his pod. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got a whole I got a whole fit for normal combat because like like that's what happened yesterday. I was minding my own business. Look I was I was camping at a relic site. And I'm like, any minute now, a little heron or a stero or something's gonna come through here. Now a stero will live through one of smart bomb splashes, but we'll live through two. We'll live through two plus hobgoblins on it. I don't know about that. Um, I'm like, any second now, a little newbie's gonna come through, and I'm gonna pop him in one shot with my smart bombs. And then I see a wormhole splash, and it's a stratios. And the stratios decides to run the relic site. The stratios decided to run the site. I'm like, well, I can't kill that with smart bombs. So what I'm gonna do is switch the blasters, and then I did this. I did this. I did this. Oof. And actually, it's funny that this Stratios was blaster fit too, but he didn't um, fire blasters at me. I don't. He really. He didn't lock me until he was in like half armor, and I think he might have been freaking out because his his pod was just a little bit expensive. A little bit. It was a little expensive. It was one and a half bill. It was one and a half bill. And how are you going to get the whole mid-grade set of virtues? This this is the I believe this is the scan one, right? The scan, yes, yeah, scan strength. You're going to have a mid-grade virtue set and not have the omega. You're going to spend one point. I know this is one point three here. It's more like one point five, one point six. But anyway, you're going to spend one point five billion isk on your capsule and not pick up the omega. Terrible. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. So, uh, yeah. So that was yesterday. That was fun. At least he got the range finding in there. Because that's a good pick for the 810 slot once you got the virtues. Alright, because it's cumulative. It's cumulative. Okay. Alright, let's update Tripwire. So I'm just going to be cruising, looking around for anyone who may or may not be in a frigate. If we find something bigger, or some from Wingspan find something bigger that they need help with, then we're going to switch over to blasters and head that way. Now, the unfortunate side is that the large smart bombs are um, very, very, very big. They're very large. It's not just the name. It's true. So when I refit, um, I can't just drop them into cargo. Okay. They won't just fit into cargo, so I had to put them in a mobile depot, which is fine for a single fight, but if I had to start going down chains and splashing in and out and leaving things behind, that's problematic. So, unfortunately, the bombs are very, I think they're 70 million each, 70 to 80 million. They used to be like 50 million. Now, I, now if this fit becomes popular, then they're gonna spike more. So, I personally wouldn't buy these right now. They're, they're at like their market highest that I've seen them in months plus I haven't actually successfully killed anything with them since I've, I've killed people with this kind of fit before in the past before the T3 changes but it's been a while so I wouldn't say to bet on this fit yet when I, if I get someone on stream which you know once the people I've paid to show up and pretend to be my victims show up then we'll be able to check it out what a poor what a poor oh you didn't realize until yesterday but you're in the this is E video that's right I am uh, I'm in This Is Eve. And, uh, yeah, that was I was pretty new to the game at the time. I was playing, like, less than half a year or something like that. 
And what's funny is everyone else in that video is like credited by their in-game character name. And I remember I was, I was pretty new at EVE Online when they pulled that footage, because I guess that footage is from like July or August, when, like early into the game. And a CCP guard or someone was like, can we use this footage? Like, can we use footage from you? I'm like, yeah. They're like, well, how do you want us to refer to you? And I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing this video game for more than a couple more weeks. Yeah, just call me Wingspan TT. Uh, you can look up my channel. Um, <laughs> you know, at the time, I, I didn't. I wasn't. I mean, I was invested in Eve in the fa fact that it was fun, but I wasn't in it so long. That I was really thinking, like, are people really gonna look up my character name? By the time they watch this video, will I still be playing the game? And now it's like almost four years later. So, just saying. Never know. Anyway, I'm glad to be in it because this is Eve. is is easily one of, if not the best Eve Online trailer, and one of the best game trailers. Like it's easily in the top like five percent. I'm not gonna say it's like top ten game trailers all the time, okay? But it's easily top five percent of game trailers. So that should be good enough for you. Why, hello there, General Kenobi. Okay, let's see here. Okay, this goes to low set. Great. Hello, hello. Canadian Beaver, hello. How the hell do I get into Tripwire? It's it, just look it up, Tripwire. Okay, this system is totally empty. This system is garbage. However, it does have a C2 static. Ooh. Oh, Steven, cozy, you flatter me. You flatter me, kind sir, thank you. All right, by the way, everyone, other than Steven being an awesome individual who clearly is a patron of the arts, obviously a refined taste, um, the reload changes that we've been talking about on the stream for the past two or so weeks are finally live. Hello, Push and Cut. Solomon Jackson, you're early. Videos are awesome. You got freaked out because of a Mackinac because you know it is. I mean, Mackinac scary looking if you don't know what it is. It's way scarier than a Vexer. Look, it's got fire coming out of it. It's crushing things. Um, so the reload changes the live. What that means is that after you start reloading, you can cloak, you can jump gates, you can splash wormholes. Okay, and the reload will still finish, which is absolutely awesome if you are, say, a person who goes around and hunts and cloaky ships. Because now you can start your reload and then cloak up and the reload still happens. And anyone who does exploration, anyone who goes around and is dealing with probe launchers and things like that knows how annoying it is. How terrible it is to have to sit around and wait for the reload. If you use ancillary shield boosters, if you use rapid light missiles, rapid heavy missiles, rapid torpedo launchers. Um, it's really annoying. And now this is just absolutely just a gem. You're using interdiction, interdiction bubbles, dropping those out, reload those things. Anything with a long reload time or like a thing where it's strategically inconvenient to have to sit around and wait for a reload. This is, this is your update. This is really for you. It's a record run. Why does this taste like it was spiked? I didn't spike it. Um... Have you ever played Gwent, the Witcher card game? Why, yes, I have. I have and I do, and I own it. Um, yes, I have played it. I, I like it okay. Um, I enjoyed it as far as I've been playing it, but I guess it, it doesn't feel like it doesn't draw me in that much. Like Whenever I sit down and play it, I'm like, okay, this is cool. But I don't like spend a lot of time thinking about it. It's a very different, strange kind of game as far as like the rules go. You had to play the game in ways that I'm just not even used to most games or card games um, being set up in terms of what your objective and how your resources are managed. Like your resources are just the toughness of your, your the strength of your characters, basically. And uh, it's really interesting how a lot of times in Gwent, like the winning move, the strange game, the winning the move is not to play. Uh, a lot of times the winning move is just to concede okay. instantly. Active instantly concede um which is is comes across strangely uh but it's i have to say it's very inventive i never actually really played the witcher i played the first one for a bit but i just didn't like the combat in the game so i just lost interest in it 
there's nothing wrong with the game. I just personally, the way the combat worked, I just didn't enjoy it. Um, so the whole universe of The Witcher and what all the cards represent and all that stuff, I don't, I didn't get into it in that degree. Uh, to any significant degree. But yeah, it's a cool game. If anyone out there is looking for a cool card game to play online, Gwent is definitely a cool one to check out. Um, it's just, it's... <laughs> If you've played Hearthstone, if you've played Magic the Gathering or Pokemon the card game, it's nothing like any of those. Like the way that you evaluate cards, the, the tempo of the game, anything like that, just just forget all that stuff. You, do, you just The only thing that transfers over is like card advantage. Like card advantage is the thing that transfers over. Everything else is just, you gotta relearn how to play a TCG. Well, Eve is telling me to come back. Well, kinda. I think you should come back, and I think specifically you should come to this wormhole system chain that I'm in and run the data and relic sites in it. I think that's what you should do. I personally think that that's how you would best enjoy this game if you went to do that right away. I think that's you'll find a lot of meaning in that in your life. Okay. Got a null sack exit. Got a C2. That's good. But the Froger is cursed. That's bad. But it comes with a free topping. That's good. But the free topping contains phthalates. I don't I don't remember what it actually was. It was something that's not good for you. Oh man. Alright, so yeah. So hello, hello. Wow, we got a decent number of people watching here. You know, before I started streaming, I was like, it says right now there's 141 people watching Eve on Twitch. That's terrible. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. I believe we can, as a community. We can shatter the records. We can make PUBG and Fortnite uh, look like jokes. Bad jokes. Unintentionally bad jokes. All right, what do we got here? These are data sites. Good to know. No one's in system, though. So what's up with the smart bombs? I'm looking for explorers that I can instantly pop with smart bombs. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an explorer. I want to find an explorer, and then I want to go up and hug that person, and then unleash 2100 EM damage instantly as I decloak on them so that they're dead by the time my ship loads on their overview. That's what I want to do. And then by the time they even figure out they no longer have a ship, that's when the second round of smart bombs will be coming around to blow up their capsule. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh my god. Hold on, let me save this thing. Which one is this? QQH. Okay. Alright, let me just update this to tripwire. Excellent. So we're going to splash that to low sec here. Pull pros. we got a bunch of things saved already. Okay, and now I know which way I came in. Good, let's just edit that. I'm gonna be really mad, by the way, if that... I gotta keep going up and down the chain because now that I have everything scanned out, I have all the relic sites and all that stuff scanned out, it's like, I need to get ready to, um... I need to go through the chain, make sure people aren't running this stuff. You're currently in a wormhole, hoping to run into me. Okay, oh, this, this is, okay, this low sec is just in the middle of nowhere. Got it. Okay, I see where, why there's no one here. XLR. You guys, anyone ever watched that show on, um, I don't know if it was Cartoon Network. It was called Megas XLR. It was kind of like a, it was like a parody actually of, um, you know, I'm just gonna move these things over here because I'd rather be able to hit F, F3 through F8. I, I can hit that all with my right hand at once versus trying to hit the other side. Yeah, let's, okay, I can hit them all with one hand, and then I can also reach my um, afterburner stuff easier if I need to. All right, did I save this wormhole? How come it didn't say I saved it? Why does it say warp to location? What warp to location? I'm on grid with it. 31 AU away, what? what? Oh, what did I do? That's not right. 
Oh, this must be from someone else in Corp. That's not right. Okay. Okay, someone saved a bookmark on a gate for some reason. Or unless I just did that. It's very possible I did that. Am I afraid to get wrecked by stream snipers? I'm not afraid to personally get wrecked because I'm in a cloaky ship. The odds of me getting wrecked are very low because not only would you have to know where I am, you'd have to decloak me. Like, I don't personally think I'm gonna get wrecked, but I've said this every time I've said on stream before. I'm concerned as, a deli as the CEO of EVE Online's number one covert ops delivery corporation, I'm concerned for the discretion of our customers. It's not fair. People hire Wingspan because they want discreet covert ops deliveries. And the problem is, once you start seeing their names all over here and whatever, there are people out there who might try to undercut me, who might be contacting them and say, I heard Wingspan's coming in five minutes to give you torpedoes. I can get there in four minutes with, with Logi and things like that. We can't. That's that's really not acceptable, all right? That's, that's a competitive advantage I'm not willing to give to uh, other concurrent companies that are working against me. New Eden Delivery Services is out there trying to best us. They won't, but they'll try. They won't. Yeah. Toonami, yep. Yeah. Megas XLR. My second wingspan story is up on my website. <gasps> you got to email it to me. Send me the link again. Or can you, Gaming Poet, you can post it here in chat. I think you can post it. Nomad6, thanks for the guys and resources. You're welcome. You got out in low second, null second wormhole space? Get in this wormhole space, dude. There's a wormhole space right here. Oh, man. Anyway, Megas XLR was, um, I think my Tengu Explorer. Yeah, your Tengu can definitely tank the smart bombs. Megas XLR was like a, a weird send up of kind of like Power ranger -y, um, shows and stuff. It was really funny. I don't know. The writing was great. And it was like this guy from New Jersey had like a hot rod that he hooked up to like a giant Zord like creature. Um, all right. Splash! It was Toonami. It was. Hold on a second. Ah! Uh. What do we got here? Drones on scan. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Wait a second. Was I just in this system? No. There's no way. Hold on a second. I swear I was just in this system yesterday. Where I was just in the system. Chicks dig giant robots. Right, that was part of the theme song. Um, no, maybe I wasn't in the system. It just feels really familiar. And what do they got? High second C4 static. All right, I don't know about that. It's not super useful. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. Back up the chain. We can always come back and scan if we have to. Do you guys still get contracts to do evictions? Um, no, we don't. We don't really take contracts to do evictions frequently, uh, if ever, really. Um, we have done them, but it's usually more due to personal reasons. Um, you know, we have someone who just really, really seems like every time we talk to them, we just are getting the vibe that they want more and more torpedoes. And at a certain point, their ship cargo holds can only hold so many torpedoes. So then we gotta start bringing them to their Pocos and their Astra Houses and Asbels and their Athenors and all that stuff. And then unfortunately, usually there's a catastrophic, you know, explosion of some type. Very sad, super sad. Very, very sad. <clears throat> all right, let's see, this is a null sec. Oh, wait, frigate only wormhole, see, look at this. See, see, look at that. I know, I know. Okay. So I didn't go through this one. This is a low sec exit Health too. Active. Oh, I see. I did go through that one. Never mind. All right, let's go back and check. Drive active. I heard you lost your C6 Alt Corp. What corporation is that? It's true. It's true. We did lose Hard Knocks. It was a shame to lose it after all these years. I thought people were gonna buy it. I thought people were gonna buy that we were really a corp run by a total idiot newbie. But 
Uh, yeah, Valhallis. Dude, you weren't here. How are you gonna call this ship dirty? First of all, I cleaned it when I pulled it out of the station. Second of all, boom, 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 boom. I'll take you to my room and we will launch smart bombs. Do 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 Oh, you gotta love that. Alright, let's turn these off. I'm gonna run out of cap, so I don't really have a choice. Oh! Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Lel. That's just gorgeous. How long does it take me to regen this cap? Pretty slow. Okay, so let's not do that unnecessarily again. I think I could run two, maybe three smart bombs time, all six. If you look at my actual fit here, you'll see that my cap stability is at, <laughs> my cap recharge rate is at negative 456%. Um, so the cap lasts for 15 seconds, 15 seconds. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so that's basically enough time to run, I believe, the smart bombs three times and that's it. Um, one time, because they cycle for what, how long is it? Seven seconds or something like that? Seven and a half seconds. Okay, so if you overheat them. Yeah, so basically I can fire them three times, I believe, because you recharge a tiny amount of cap, you know, in the time, by the time you get to third cycle. Uh, yeah, that's not a lot. No one in local. Oh, there's one person local. Shh, 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 shh. They're not on scan. There's a data site here. They might be over here. Let me get over here. Ah. Uh, Hold on, I got. Sorry about that. I actually had to blow my nose, and I don't want to. I don't want to subject everyone to that. You're gonna get germs. You're gonna get germs. Um, HK is having fun with DNS. I heard this Proteus does look sexy. I will actually say that's unfortunate because the Smart Bomb Proteus looks less sexy um, than some of the other Proteuses look. So there's there's other fits for Proteus okay. that just look way that's better than this. Like if you took out the um, I think if you swap the power core, it's it's the CPU here. I'll show you. Watch. If I go into this, and, oh, you know what? I, it's better if I actually do the show info on it, because then you can keep the. All right. So this is how mine looks right now. Exoplans for the orange and gray. But if you change the core system to. Oh, the, oh, I see. I have augmented fusion reactor. It looks like this. Electronic efficiency gate looks like that. That's cool. And a friction extension. It's got the hammerhead, which is also cool. Um, so I pretty much have the lamest out of the three heads that you can have. As far as the tails go, um, interdiction nullifier definitely looks the coolest. It looks like a like a it looks like a motorcycle actually. Um, hyperspatial optimization is not bad. Localized injector is terrible, so I'm glad I don't have that one. And then let's see here, nothing on D scan. Alright, whoever is in local left. Shh, you must hunt. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, you can make this thing look real funky. Oh, look at this. Look how ugly you can make this ship look. Hold on, look at this. Just like a, a weird boat. Like a weird, like a shark with no fins. I don't know, I don't like it. There's some real ugly configurations you can get here. Yeah, that one's pretty disgusting right there. That is the worst. If you ever, ever make this Proteus, you are creating an affront to aesthetic visual design. Hello, Quatly. Oh, man. Smart bombs on Proteus. Every person joins me. I have to explain smart bombs, aren't I? The answer is simple. Clear eyes. <laughs> the smart bombs are intended for a frigate class customer. We will find them. And then we will decloak on them and instantly blow them up. All right, hold on a second. Warp drive active. Wait, why do I have two? Oh, I see. Okay, this is the one that came in through. Got it. 
I see. Hold on. I believe I just... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. That's how I came through. Oh, I see. This is labeled wrong. Got it. So, that's the idea. We're going to hope that this happens. We're going to hope. And if it doesn't, I do have a real, quote-unquote, real Proteus Fit in my cargo to switch out to. Okay, we can change to Proteus Fit that allows for um, actual, like, normal damage to things. All right, let's go up the chain the other way. I feel like going down the chain I was going. I got a couple side systems I can check. A couple side systems for us to um, peek into. Hello, do I have kill marks in this thing? I did get a kill. I don't know where the kill marks are on this thing. Not this side, it's as far as I can tell. Let's try the other side, is it on this side? Hold on. Is that the kill marks? At the top? Yeah, I guess that's it. Right there is one kill mark. There's one kill mark on top. All right, fine. Fine. All right, here we go. One. Boom. One plex. So that's the other thing I've been doing. I've been doing the... I'm going to keep one plex in cargo. Oh, there's, there's an ocketer here, really? Mm, I could catch it, but it's probably already gone, so. Let's come to this wormhole, is he? Okay, he's not. What hotkey do you do to, to make it go from top view? Yeah, so, yeah, there actually is no hotkey to do that. You gotta double click and space to flip this. And when I was on CSM and they introduced this, I specifically requested that they add a hotkey to do it. Um, and then I was removed from the CSM. No, <laughs> they were concerned that they added too many hotkeys that would become too easy to probe, I believe. I don't know. There's a lot of things. Like, people said, how come you can't just, like, have a hotkey to um, automatically zoom into a signature, like, over here on the, on the probe list window on my other monitor? And it's like, you can't really do stuff like that because then what happens is you could create like scanning bots really easily like much you, it, it's it would be trivially easy to automate it um, at that rate where am I going okay it's a high sec a low sec a low sec and another two c2s okay let's go this way all right let's go this way Warp drive active hmm all right Legit won't hold or kill an Ocker. I could potentially hold it. I mean, if it's stabbed, then I can't hold it. I do have five points of scram available um, in a refit, but I'm not gonna kill it with smart bombs. I'd have to refit to my full um, blaster fit. And by the way, I've never actually flown a blaster ship in PVP before. So <laughs> that's why I didn't want to spend any money on the blaster side of the fit. I just fit it as cheap as possible in the blaster side all t2 everything because it's like i'm not spending money on a fit where i legitimately have never even sat behind this i've used blasters to kill rats but that's about it your exploration bots are a thing now i've heard that too i haven't actually seen any that i would say are this is clearly a bot but Plex tank is best tank. It is. I watched all your videos. This is the first time watching you live. Hello, Amar Victor. Double X. Is it double X like the female chromosomes double X? Or is it double X like 20? Or is it double X like um, you didn't want to go all the way and start? you decided to start with more like softcore tasteful stuff? Or like, I don't know. Did you ever make it back to judo with the cargo that was 100 times the value of ship? Oh, Jita? Um, yes, I did. I did make it back. I made it back live. If you go back, uh, yeah, I did make it. It was about 200 mil in liquidable assets and then a bunch of contracts and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that paid for several of my first Asteros, by the way. Now, let's see if anyone's run the site. No one has okay. cleared the site yet. Really? Ah, whoa, 
show us the way. I will show you the way through the wormholes. The One X wasn't available. With the Xbox One X. Is that it? Oh, what? What? There's a claw here? What is it doing? Where is it? See, a claw is a great thing to blow up with this because claw is totally used to not being caught by things. Mmm, it's gone already. Is this a high sec? No. No. Hmm. Hmm. Warp drive the Legion is such a beautiful ship. It is. Homestar Runner. Oh man. I used to love Homestar Runner so much. So much. I watched everything. I was in college when Homestar Runner was big. And in college when you just have infinite time and the internet was like, wow, look at this. We could have spent all day viewing all 300 web pages. Homestar Runner was like a blessing. That's like one of those things where if you were on the internet in 2002, you definitely knew what Homestar Runner was. Assuming you weren't already over the age of like 40. No offense to anyone watching who was over the age of 40 in 2002. You led a good life. And we respect you for it. Thank you for paving the way for the future generations. Uh, how's my Monday? My Monday's going great. My Monday's going fabulous. Alright, where am I in this chain? Okay. Oh, there's a C2 on the other side. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go down here. I just want to see something here. Oh, I didn't know that there was something called Sancha Claws. Sancha Claws is an in-game item, really? There's a normal claw. What kind of tank, armor tank is it? Ooh, I guess... I guess it would take 30% less damage from the smart bombs. 30 times 2 is 600. It's still 600 damage, so that's enough. It would take two hits to wipe this thing out. Alright, so. It wouldn't instantly die. The claw would not instantly. It would live. The boy who lived. Alright, let's go. Uh, Prote's full smart bomb. I don't understand, but why not? So, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for explorers, and I want to. Pop them like a zit. So I'm gonna run right into them and pop them. All right, here. Let's see. No scan probes. All right, no one in here is even curious where this wormhole goes. That makes me sad when I see that. I feel like people should want to have a certain curiosity. Like, ooh, what's that wormhole? Maybe I should go through it. How do you map wormhole chains? How do you know there's another C2 on the other side? Well, the answer is I use Tripwire, which is software that runs on a web browser that you can get um, for EVE Online. There's other software, Siggy and Thethbot. In Wingspan, we use Tripwire. Um, and I've already mapped out some of these systems, so that's why I know, because I've been here already. Okay? That's how I, I figured it out. I've already mapped everything. Um, not everything, but the main part of the chain. And then as I've been going, I've been sprouting out to the sides, reaching out my arms, finding new connections. We're going to go through this one. When the Amar T3 have more cap to burn? Well, it's not about cap, though. That's the problem. It's about power grid. So, yes, it's true. Other ships might have more capacitor. But let me show you an example. We're going to do a little fit here. Let's say we go to Legion. Let's say we go to Legion, and we're going to simulate the ship okay and huh that's a lot of drones on d-scan just make sure no one's in here first before i get distracted what other a gas site is this a new cosmic sig no huh that's weird how come that's not in my 
we have a, another wormhole that I didn't actually check before. A C4, huh. Okay. I'm gonna warp over there and we'll see what's going on. Uh, where was I? Sorry. Fits, fits, fits. Okay. So, watch this. Alright, so let's say we go to hardware, we're gonna fit this thing up. Oh, no. What legion? Alright. Get this out of here. So, we're gonna want the uh, reactor for power grid. Uh, obviously, you're gonna want the covert ops um, for offensive. Okay. Uh, for propulsion, you're gonna want whatever gives you the most low slots. So, that's gonna be these both give you no I see intercalate nanofibers and then for um, core no, wait that's not core this is for offense same thing you're gonna want whatever gives you the most power grid um, so here we got 1106 1731 okay so liquid crystal magnifiers okay now what we're gonna do is set this up we're gonna get some dark blood uh, reactor control units. Okay. Let's just put a bunch in here to start and get some Warhammer, um, EMP smart bombs. Just see if we can get six of them on there. Okay, that's too many. Okay, hold on a second. Ancillary current routers. Ancillary current routers, we got two, a two. Oh, you know, hmm. This could work. This could work. You give me dumb ideas. You could possibly even get seven of these on it. No, you can't fit seven. You could potentially fit a medium though. Okay, you're a genius. Okay, hold on a second. So ancillary current routers cost less than these low slot modules. So we're gonna pull these and we actually have plenty of extra power grid. I can take this out, I can take this out. We could potentially do a, um, hmm, reactor control two. We could potentially save, save some isk. Hold on a second here. Defit, 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 defit. Ooh, look at that. And now what we do is we have room in here for either, we could do something like throw in a warp core stabilizer. You could throw a warp core stab in here uh, for your comfort and safety. Now you're gonna have CPU problems. That is a problem. Okay, we are gonna need those dark bloods just for the matter of uh, fit and CPU. But look at this, you can already see the capacity. Look at this, wow. Wow, you're, you're just, you just changed my whole, my whole way of thinking here. Look at this. Wow, I'm I'm indebted to you, actually. All right. So now, um, the problem is your mid slots are terrible. Okay, mid slots are terrible. Do we have a drone bay on this thing? No. That is a downside. There's no drone bay. Okay. So we get covert ops cloaking device two, expanded probe launcher two. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Scrambler, you're gonna need the uh, Kaldari Navy uh, Warp Scrambler. Kaldari Navy Warp Core Scrambler here. Um, and you only got 16 CPU left. You could go with the coprocessor. I personally think ECM Burst is the way to go. Why is this not... What am I doing wrong that I can't find Burst in here? Burst jammer. Oh, that's why. You put a sentient burst jammer in here. You're hurting for CPU, but what you could do is you could put a coprocessor if you want. Boom. Look at that. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to be dishing out, um, yep, same thing, 20, 2100 damage. Okay. Sees cost about 872 million isk. Um, you can't afford to, you could afford to debling this a little bit, right? You could put a warp scrambler two in here you get rid of this thing throw this in here okay um, you can put a burst jammer two in here although that's your only tank so personally I think it's best to spend money <laughs> it's your only tank you have a little bit more capacity a uh, capacitor some some other potential downsides however are what does intercalate nanofibers do again oh agility and velocity it's not bad but I will say this um, a big a big plus 
to the produce. So this, oh, oh, oh. Oh shit, did you see that? Oh, I could have blown that guy up, except I was working on his feet. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him, hopefully. I'm gonna get him. Did you see that? No! Now I can have an extra mid, that's right. Okay, I gotta go back and fix that. I was distracted. Please tell me this guy's still on grid. Is he here? Oh, man. <sighs> Should I decloak first? If I decloak first, I feel like it's possible he might try to tackle me. <laughs> I'm just gonna like sit. Oh no, he's on scan, damn it. He already warped off. He's probably at one of those Astro houses. Man. <sighs> Look at that. <sighs> you guys got me nerding out about fits. I didn't know it was the Astro house, uh, the, the mana core. Okay. Did you see that? Active. Come on. Active. That would have been hilarious. It says, I don't know what a mana core is. I guess the resist profile. I mean, how many? Oh, the mana core, though, it's going to live through at least one, one of those. I want to see who's in this thing. So one thing the Proteus has over the Legion, though, is the warp speed. So you'll notice that you, um, is that you warp really fast because the, the prop core, I'm sorry, the prop subsystem gives you speed. Okay, there's one person online. All right, whatever. I'm not going to stick around forever on this. I could scan down the system. What is this? It's got a C3 static. I guess I could do that. Fine. Fine. Warp drive active. If he's polarized, he's not going to be polarized. I'm not going to be able to catch the bomber. It's basically, I need to trick it. And the problem is bombers are fast enough too. They could get outside of range. I need to just be sitting there. That's like when he's sitting at the wormhole there trying to decide if he should splash it or not. That's when you just like decloak and blast him. And then like if luckily, hopefully he won't even know what's going on by the time he decides to splash. Yeah, they're squishy, but the problem is are they 2100 EHP squishy? And that I'm not so sure about. Watch. Armor hit points, 350. Shield capacity. So he's got zero resist here. So 600 damage, boom, straight through, okay? Then you get to armor, 50%. So he's got 700 here, plus 625 is 1325. And then you get into hull, um, which is, where's the structure hit points? Who designed this? Structure hit points, 400. So he's got a 500, okay. I think you could barely, just barely, with just this fit, you can blast a mana core in one shot. Assuming it has no tank whatsoever, you can kill a mana core in one shot. So that's what this fit is for. It's for doing things like that. It's for like, okay, let's blow up a mana core in a single shot. And what I'd like to do here is do some probe scanning, but I want to get on grid of those structures and make sure that if someone that if someone um, undocks so I see who it is and what they're in and what they're doing. Uh, so anyway, Epoch, I know they can't. We, You missed the part of the stream where we talked about this, but I don't need to be within range of the wormhole. I just need to be in range of the target. If the target's three off the worm, 3,000 off the wormhole, and I'm 8,000 off the wormhole, I can still hit them, even though they're within jump range of the wormhole. That's what we were, we were doing this. We were testing, we were showing it before. It was beautiful. Okay. What the hell's that? Okay, I don't know. All right, so if I see something on my overview, then we're gonna see who undocks and what they're in. Um, hmm, man, that was an annoying scan. Nothing came up. All right. Yes, I know it. So, ooh. Oh God, what have I done? Yeah, hear him. What you've done is you made me lose uh, the target. You map them today, don't the wormholes change locations? Yes, you map them and the map lasts for about 24 hours. Just because the map's not permanent doesn't mean it doesn't have any value. Still plenty of value in the map. 
Let me see. I mean, look, you guys ever watch Dora the Explorer? That map changes every day, and it's still extremely valuable, all right? If there's a place you gotta go, uh, it's the one you gotta know. It's the map, all right? So don't diss a map that changes all the time. Normally, we would consider that to be a magical talking map. And somehow a map that changes every day is bad in EVE Online? I don't think so. All right? Because some pirates are gonna come by and you're gonna have to catch them sneaking up on you and trying to trying to kill you. And you're gonna have to yell, swiper, no swiping. All right, let's get over here. Scan over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy Canuck, I'm very close to high sec, trust me. And by the way, the people talking about warp core stabs, when you think about a ship like this, this ship has no tank, all right? So yes, normally I would never say put warp core stabs on your ship, but this ship has literally no tank. And that is a big problem. Oh, you know what I could do with this fit? Hold on, here's what you could do. Watch this. We're talking about, do you really need the mid slots or not? If you don't feel that you need the mid slots, what you could do is you could put in your prop mod as interdiction nullification. Watch this. Drop the interdiction nullification in. Uh, you're gonna be low on CPU. It's true. Um, you could fit. You could fix this a couple ways. If you drop this thing out, uh, well, that doesn't help anything. Anyway, have a power grid. Ooh. Well, you can't really fix that either, though. You can't use one of these for a coprocessor because of the um, overclocker. I don't think you can. Overclocking one? No, you're gonna go over with that. Yeah, no way. All right, so. Oh, I guess it's true though. You don't actually need the ancillary current router. That's nice. What's going on here? I just wanna make sure I'm not missing something. Okay, I already scanned that. I know it's there. I came in that way. I came. Oh man, do smart bombs have, have fall off? No, they have no fall off. They do 100% of their damage within the radius. They're not affected by explosion velocity or radius like other bombs, um, bombs or anything, missiles, anything like that. So they just do full damage to anything in their radius. Drones, uh, ships, friendly ships, rats, things in high sec that get you killed. All right, so. <laughs> They, they, yeah, they're just gonna hit you. Oh, Popsy says hi, hi. All right. So, oh man, here we go. This one's easy. I got two, three wormhole scan down. This is good for business. I can't believe I missed that mana core. That would have been so hilarious. Like I'm looking for like tech one, um, tech one explorers to blow up, and I could have got a, a stealth bomber. That would have been genuinely hilarious. And if you are in a red giant wormhole, you get a bonus for um, you get a bonus for bombs and smart bomb effects. Wow, another wormhole! It's my lucky day. All right, let's go. Warp drive active. All right, let's pull probes. Let's go see where all these things go. Whew! All right. Nothing on scan. It'd be funny if someone came out like in an epithal and decided to try to kill them in um, a smart bomb Proteus. Like it would take so long. Luckily I have drones. So this is this is a big thing that the Proteus has that the Legion doesn't have is the drones. Although I guess if you are this good for power grid, yeah the CPU is tight. That's a big problem. That is an issue. Of course you could just get a 5% 3%, 5%. That's what I would say. Just go with this fit and then just get like a, a CPU implant. If you really want to do it on Legion, you can do it. But I personally think the Proteus is better because you have um, the warp speed so you can move around faster. It's easier to fit and you have drones so that you can kill things the smart bombs can't kill or you can use ECM drones to escape from things because having no tank is a problem. If you look at, let's say, a Loki. Um, let's see if we can do this on a Loki. Let's see if we can do this with the same kind of nuclear reactor, cover reconfig. 
whatever gives us the most low slots and then whatever gives us the most power grid here boom and then we have war hammers get six of those in there get dark blood and again you can bling more than this but ooh, this is this is a rough fit huh medium ancillary current router I don't think it's gonna fit guys you don't have the power grid for it wow really so with a Loki you'd have to lose one of these okay and then you'd have to put like a medium smart bomb here and really what do you get out of that you get a Agile shit. I wouldn't do this on Loki. You're gonna lose too much damage. As soon as you go down to 1700 damage, you risk like 1600 damage. You risk not being able to kill things in one shot, which is the whole point of the ship. Um, I have Genolutions in though. That's the problem. I currently have Genolutions as my set, and it's counting them already. So you could get more power grid or something. But I am my Genolutions are already being counted. So if you got five percent power grid. I guess it would put you over three percent, three, three percent power grid. You could you could do it. You need Genolutions plus a power grid implant in order for this to fit. So I think that's a little risky. And look, depletes in seven seconds. So you get even. You don't even get two cycles out of this. You don't get two cycles of use of all your smart bombs. So this, while this can fit in theory. And by the way, it's not even counting putting anything else on here. You only got 60 cent CPU left. I don't know. I personally think Proteus is still the best way to go on this. Oh, this is C3, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I don't I don't think that's a good idea. I could be wrong. I'm frequently wrong, but um it seems like the fitting is too tight for no no major win. The the plus side is you get you do get drones, so that's a good thing. And it looks kinda cool. But beyond that, I don't know. Sorry. I'm so drying here. The smart bomb, yes you have drones. Your drones are not for using while you're smart bombing someone. Your drones are for killing things that can't be smart bomb to death or to finish something off after you've used two or three cycles of your smart bombs and they have like a little bit of HP left but you don't, you're, it's gonna take you like a minute to regen the cap to use your smart bombs again. So the point of the drones is let's say you tack on a stero, which is tankier, right? And let's say it's, it's properly fit. You smart bomb, it goes into like armor. You smart bomb it again, it goes into low, mid armor. You smart bomb it again, it goes into like high hull. Now you have almost no capacitor left. You still have the thing scrammed, but you're not gonna be able to kill it. Then you launch the drones after your smart bombs are gone, and then you kill it with the drones. That's what it's for. All right, let's jump. Jump in. Yeah, so you can fit the Loki. It just requires very blingy implants. And like I'm saying, if you only have seven seconds of cap, that's not worth it. If you cannot fire the smart bombs twice, that's a huge problem. You shouldn't need to in most circumstances, but you need to have the option to fire them twice. In my humble opinion, as you know, as the fourth best person in the world at something, I'm extremely humble. Humility overrunneth. I'm the most humble person you'll ever meet. I guarantee it. Warp drive active. Okay. Pop. All right. Does your Proteus have three mids? Yes. Sorry, let me leave the simulation. It does have three mids. So what I have in my mids here is I got a scram. I have an afterburner in case whatever I am scramming. I could have a web, but the problem is that while the web could potentially be useful, because scramming, you know, web and afterburner are both solving a problem. I don't need the web for application at all because I'm using smart bombs and I've got drones, so the, the web's not for application. Afterburner can help me keep up with things. Webs can help me keep up with things, but the afterburner can also help me in situations the web can't, like 
if I go through a gate camp or something and I need to burn back to the gate, I need I need an afterburner. Web's not going to help me. Um, or if I um, if I or when I switch over to my other fit or anything like that, or if I just want to burn around, and burn some tax or something, or I see some drone that's far off grid, like gecko or something, I want to scoop it. It's good to have a speed option. <laughs> yeah, so it's really power grid. All this is power grid. All this is power grid. All this is damage. Then we've got scram, which in some cases won't be necessary. We got GTFO, we got a GTFO sentient burst jammer. Again, it's not guaranteed to work. It's a really dumb backup plan, but it's it's the only it's the only tank you're gonna fit in a single mid slot. <laughs> That's it. I could put I can't fit a shield extender. I could fit a single resist mod, but it's really not gonna add that much HP. But the possibility to jam someone out, or even jam everyone out, is important. Um, I think that that's really it. Now, one thing you could do with this fit, which I'll show, is one thing you could do with this fit is you could take off a single large EMP, okay? And now you see I have a thousand um, power grid is freed up. And then what you could do is you could get a dark blood medium EMP and put it in here. You have 700 power grid, okay? And you can see I could go to minus 6.3 here. Um, that can easily be taken care of by a 1% power grid implant or something like that. And now, instead of doing 2100 damage, I do 1900 damage, still very respectable, okay? But now you could drop something in here, like you could drop a damage control. Um, you could put in a warp core st stab. You could put um, an inertial stabilizer stabilizer for faster align time, because here's, here's something, keep in mind, you have four second align time on this thing. Um, yeah, you could, you could, there's, there's room to put stuff in here, or you could fit into um, interdiction nullification so that you can't be caught by bubbles, which could be useful. Um, you'll have slower line time, but you'll still have fast warp speed, and you won't be able to caught by bubbles. So, uh, it could be worth doing for a 10% for a loss of damage to, to be immune to bubbles is pretty good. You could also afford to de-bling a lot of your stuff. You could switch over the re the dark blood reactors, although they're only nine million esque each. But you could switch them over to being tech twos, or you could switch to sentient burst over. But again, I wouldn't do that. But um, you know, there's a lot of options. All right, we got lots of wormholes here. Lots of get your wormholes, people. Get your wormholes. So those lows are reactor control units and not power diagnostic systems, right? That's correct. Their reactor controls because reactor controls give you more power grid. However, like I'm saying, if you want to take one of these off and make it a medium, you could probably again let me just let me just switch this and show you. I'm gonna take one of these things off and I'm gonna put power diagnostic. Because power diagnostic for anyone who doesn't know, it's similar to reactor control. It gives you more power grid, but also gives you more capacitor, more shield, um, things like that. So you could, for instance, take uh, a dark blood power. Dark blood power. Can you, can you do this with three? Uh, you can't do it with three. With with you might be able to handle this again with an implant. If you have an implant, you could swap three of these into dark blood power, power diagnostic systems, and as a result, you gain a, a whopping 800 EHP, and you gain a whopping um, seven seconds of cap time. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's an entire extra cycle. Of smart bombs, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't think it's worth it for those gains. I'd much rather do something like take these in here and then do like a damage control or something. If you really want to have some tank, this takes you from 1600 HP to 2100 HP, so it gives you approximately like 30% more tank, um, which is totally. Uh, all right, let's see, where does this go? 30% more tank for 10% less damage could be worth it. And you could potentially smart bomb people in like low sec and live through gate guns, things like that if you want. Um, I don't know the exact damage that those guns put out uh, because I don't typically fire in their range. Um, but you probably have enough to do a single volume and you know live and warp off and all that stuff. 
What's with the cloaked? Are you decloaked? Is it bugged? Oh yeah, it's bugged. Yeah, sometimes it does that thing where it's a dotted line. It's pretty normal. I get that bug a lot. Yeah, 1% implant can make the difference. Makes a difference to this one. Let's go. Huh? A bestower. Is it in the force field? Odds are the answer is yes. Please say no. Hmm. 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 Uh. It's going to be in the force field, isn't it? Yeah. It's possible that the... I guess the moon is there. There's only one moon, so I might as well check it out. There's only one moon. Um, therefore, it's not going to waste any of my time to go to it. So I don't mind looking at it. Warp drive active. Ooh, smart bomb for no reason. <laughs> it makes the warp feel more epic. Admiral, take us to warp. <laughs> I like it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, and the guy's not here. You can tell because his character name is not in the ship. So there you go. It's AFK. This system is enormous. It's got like 500 signatures, and so no one's been here active for quite some time. Warp drive. Seven seconds is a lot of time in EVE, it's true. And that's why, so so based on what I've seen, I personally would only advise building this on, the, you can build on Loki, it's just gonna cost you more money. It's gonna cost you probably an expensive power grid implant. Um, and no, I don't, I don't recommend it, seven seconds is not enough cap. So Legion, Legion only, really? Legion and, and Proteus only for the smart bomb fit. And if you do the Legion, just understand that you're at a disadvantage because you don't have drones and you don't have um, hyperspatial, so you're gonna be a warp slower because that's the other thing, right? Like you see Aphthal's going around, you see Explorers going around. Being able to warp at frigate speed in a cruiser is, is not just quality of life, it's catching things. It's being able to catch up to them as they warp wormhole, hold a wormhole or, or if they leave a site or something like that. You need to be able to, to go grab them. Never used a stealth bomber before. Oh, a, a smart bomb before. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's difficult to demonstrate what I'm talking about because... Right, hold on a second. I went through this one. I went through this one. I went through this one. Oh, okay. I did not go through this one. There's a lot of wormholes here. <laughs> yeah, Rooks and Kings were famous for um, putting together a uh, smart bombing, pipe bombing, right? They would they would set up a bunch of smart bombing ships at the end of a warp pipe and portal the ships in and stuff and then, you know, oh, I'm gonna have to take this right away, aren't I? Cause I'm gonna decloak. And it's, that's actually in This Is Eve. There's like the, you see the fleet saying, like, up success, up success, up is so much fun. And they're warping through space and they land on a Rooks and Kings smart bombing fleet. And as a result, they all die because it's just like dozens and dozens of smart bombing ships. Okay, we got Drifter Response Battleships in here. It's a C5. I highly doubt there's anything in here that I can engage, even if I refit. Warp drive active. Oh, nope, there's a Stratios in here somewhere. What is it doing in a C5? That I don't know. And it's gone. See, the problem with Stratios. Oh. Huh, that's weird. Okay, Stratios is over here somewhere. Hmm. I don't have a bubble in my hold, unfortunately. Um, my refit takes up a huge amount of space, okay? 
So you'll see I have um, a mobile, I need a mobile depot, I need all the stuff, I need guns, I need other rigs, I need blah, 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 blah. I meant 90% cargo capacity. Is there really a Stratios over there? Is it still decloaked? Is it just sitting on a wormhole or something? Alright, I want to go see if it's still on D-scan. If it's out, I can try to bait it into a fight. Um, but I will have to refit, and then if if I lose the fight, um, I'm losing all my smart bombs. Sister's probe's out. I could try to catch it on... See, the problem is there's a lot of signatures in here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, drifters. Hi guys, hi, nice to see you. No, didn't mean any trouble by it. Let's see. Yeah, this system doesn't have any kind of special wormhole effects in it, which is good and bad. Let's we'll see if the locals are online, because if they are, they, the Stratos could be theirs. Um, yeah, the problem is trying to get the Stratios. Like, if I were a Stratios uh, and I was solo, I would not necessarily attack my ship, right? Like, there's nothing baity about it. Um, so I can't just sit around decloaked waiting for it to come to me because it's not gonna. It probably won't do that. If I were a Stratios and I had a giant fleet behind me, then I would pounce immediately to kill me. Uh, in which case. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see the locals here. In which case, I'm dead. So, unfortunately, and, and because there's so many signatures, it seems unlikely I'm going to be able to guess where he's going to warp to. And because it's a Stratios, he's going to scan down a bunch of wormholes, and then pick one, decloak, and jump, and that's it. And he's going to be gone. So I'm going to have one tick to guess where he's at, which is not, not a lot. Okay, are these people online? Yeah, there's five people online here, so... That Stratios is a local, and therefore it's either going to not engage me, or it's going to um, bring six people to just slam me into the ground. That's what I would do. All right, hold on a second here. Drive active. Those drifters are scary. They'll they'll mess you up. Believe it or not, they can even defeat a smart bomb Proteus. It's hard to believe. I know. Your incredulity is at an all-time high, but please bear with me. Yeah, those probes. I mean, I can see the probes are... I mean, it looks like it could be scanned. But see, that's the thing. He scanned down this wormhole. There's no guarantee he's going to even jump this wormhole. I could see it for half an hour, and he could jump all the other, you know, five or six wormholes first, and then that's a problem. So, like, even if I know for a fact that he scans this down, it's like, unless I literally see him jump through it, which, honestly, sitting here, uh, waiting. Let me pull probes, though. Oh, they could just be scanning this. See, that's the thing. It's like, he... All right, well, I'm just going to jump through, and if he sees me and wants to chase me, that's fine. All right, I'll stay decloaked for, like, eight extra seconds here. And maybe that'll bait him to follow me. Just don't mind me, just Chance Ravine, CEO of Wingspan, jumping through wormholes. Your man, uh, Raider Ink, just stole a kill from me. Oh, we don't steal kills in Wingspan. We, that's that's so low. I I don't believe for a second that that happened. Warp drive active. All right. We got one more wormhole in here, and then I'd say and that, and that's time for us to do our chain check. Any high high sec wormholes? Um, there's one high sec exit really far down the chain. So yes and no. I was kind of hoping I'd find a null sec, uh, so I can go and smart bomb some rats. This is a crit C5, I believe, or C4, or C5. It's crit. So I probably shouldn't jump through that with uh, people actively attempting to have rolled it before. And potentially enemies on the other side. Drive 
I just feel like when you talk that way, they come across like Monty Python. Like, have you ever seen Monty Python and the meaning of life? Well, I can't, I can't really get in. I'm not going to be able to do the accents. I'm not going to try. Now, I know Manic Velocity has been wanting some Disney memes, Wingspan, EVE Online Disney memes. And I watched uh, Moana last week. I was homesick. And I was just in this delirium. And I'm like, what should I watch on Netflix? I need to watch something really lighthearted. I feel like garbage. <clears throat> so it's like, hey, we just said, wait, Moana's on here. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch it. And I thought that um, Maui song, You're Welcome, would be a perfect song to do, like an EVE Online Wingspan parody. Because it's a song about this narcissistic guy who is telling someone who doesn't even want to be talking to him about how great he is and how thankful they should be for all the gifts that he is giving her despite her never asking or wanting for any of them. And I thought if that's not a Wingspan song, I don't know what it is. It's perfect. Alright, let's see here. Warp drive active. Making the rounds. Mm. Man, those drones keep throwing me off. Now, one thing about you seeing drones in space usually it doesn't mean much. Sometimes people just abandon them when they're running a site. Sometimes people get killed, and, you know, that's why the drones are there. Um, it could be, very infrequently, keep in mind that their ships like the Curse are D-scan immune, and therefore they can be using their drones and absolutely, um, like if you, if you did a D-scan check and you're like, the drones all appear to be on a specific planet, like, uh, no, there's some tactical, oh, wait, that's... <laughs> All right, never mind. That's I know exactly why they're there. I saw that kill mail before. Do, 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 do. Oh, core scanner probes. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. This is good. This is real good. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. Oh, they're scanning the other wormhole. I gotta go to it. I gotta go to it, guys. Alright. This is it. This could be it. What is that fit? Profit of tomorrow. Everyone who's just joined now, my fit is the exploration blapper. One hit, one kill. Um, <laughs> Proteus. Alright, this Proteus is designed to engage a frigate and blow it up in a single 2100, I call it the Warhammer 2.1K, okay? You've heard of Warhammer um, 40K and all that stuff, all right, the Imperium, all that jazz. Oh no, okay. Oh, we got, oh, we got scanner probes inside the system. Oh, this is good. This is real good. Someone's gonna run this site. I'm telling you right now they're gonna run it. Okay, let's pull range to 8,000. Okay, cloak up. All right, so here's where we're gonna do some Let's move our, pro let's see, are they scanning this direction? Yes. So whoever's doing their scanning is scanning potentially uh, that, that data site there where I already have a bookmark. Mm, only one probe, uh, or maybe not. The thing is there's not too many signatures in system, so they're gonna find the exit that they came in through that data site. I think there's some gas site they don't care about. Yeah, okay, this is good. We're gonna do it, guys. Now, you're gonna watch how insane this is. Unless, watch, this is all an insane trap. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it. 
Hello, Bachui. Bachui is, I believe, the most, one of the most recent. Okay, pros pulled. That's good. That's good news. That's good news. Now, it could be that they went to that wormhole over there. Let's just check the other wormhole and see. I don't need to necessarily go through it. I'm just going to go in its proximity and descan, see if there's probes or see if there's a ship over there. And then my guess, if I were a betting man, which I am, okay, no, they're scanning. Okay, good. Uh, ew. Well. Hold on. Sorry about that. Oh, Imicus on sh D scan. Uh. Yo, don't tell me this person's Imicus is at this planet. Come on. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hold on a second here. Oh, no, he's laying there on grid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nobody, no. You don't want to go through that. All right, we're going to test this. Is he going to go through? Or is he just going to... All right. He's just going to go up next to it? I want to... Come on. No, he's too close. I'm not going to be able to activate smart bombs. Oh, shit. He's moving. He's bouncing off it. The ship is so slow. Oh! Okay, he's going to come back. He's going to come back. He doesn't want to go through some random low sex system. If I jump through, I'm just going to scare him away. <laughs> I'm doing Coke on stream. Um, it's not Coke. It's Coke Zero Sugar. Okay, here he comes. All right. All right, let's see what he does this time. <sighs> come on. Can we kill him in one shot? If you only had one chance, one opportunity, to blow up everything you ever targeted, would you seize it? Oh shit, I'm too close to wormhole. Oh no, I'm too close. No, no, oh, I'm gonna get decloaked by this guy. Fuck, where'd he go? He warped to the other wormhole? Okay, hold on. Lame. Warp drive active. Is an Imicus Benaprotus. I shouldn't have gotten that close to wormhole. If I were far farther out, see, that was a mistake. I was trying to get within jump range in case I wanted to pursue. I guess he was he was also polarized. Okay, so I'm warping in a distance here. If he warps at a non-zero distance, I might be able to grab him. Come on. Where's he? Where's he doing? He going to the wormhole? Ah, damn it! Jumping out. All right, well, someone else out there is still probing. They are. I saw it. Unless they decide to go through the other system. Just run this site. There's a juicy site here. This free money. Run the site. It's free money. And by the way, I've told people this before. I can't fire the smart bombs within smart bomb range of wormhole. Oh, okay, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. It's a, it's a it's a balance thing. You can't fire the smart bombs when you are within splash range, uh, smart bomb range of the wormhole. Your your smart bombs are not allowed to overlap the wormhole. See that range? That's the range you're allowed to use this at. Shh. Shh. Please tell me it's that guy again. That'd be pretty funny. Because then he'd be like polarized. Come on. Imicus is a starter ship. Oh, there it is. There's the ship. Okay, I'm not going to be able to... Please tell me, where'd he go? Where was that? Oh, God damn it. I clicked the... Well, he's either going to the wormhole or he's going to the... The data site. Okay, he's going to the data site. Alright, guys, we got this. It's going to happen, for real. Alright. 
See the power of the Warhammer 2.1K. Now, uh, remember what I said before. Normal covert op ship, you decloak, you wait a tick. You wait five seconds before you can target. You start target, you wait two to three seconds. It's like 10 seconds between when you decloak and when the person starts taking damage. My goal is to do the exact opposite of this. My goal is, wow, he landed far from those things. Why can't I, oh, here we go. My goal, oh, he's moving fast, geez. I wanna get to one of these things that I'm not gonna get decloaked on. That's a problem. Okay, cause uh, so basically I can warp to this one without getting decloaked or this one. But if I warp to this one, there's odds I'm gonna be too close to one of these things. So I'm just gonna have to wait. Yes, why would anyone run one of those? I, I can't tell you why. You know I'm gonna laugh so hard if like someone else decloaks and gets this guy. Yeah, see, my concern is if I warp to this thing, that I'm actually gonna, I guess it doesn't matter if I get decloaked because I can instantly hit the smart bombs, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Can I choose a custom range to warp this thing at? Warp to within, oh, it's either zero or 10. I guess I'll just, yeah, I'll just do it. All right, it doesn't matter if I get, well, if I get decloaked though, that's a problem. Please tell me I'm not within collider range of anything. I'm not, okay, perfect. Okay, all right, here we go. Gonna approach this guy. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, hold on. All right, here we go. As soon as I'm within um, 6,000, I can hit him. Come on. And watch, he's, if, if I do this right, he's just gonna die in like one shot. All right, get ready to smash my face on the keyboard. Here we go. Fire! Oh! Oh, instantly killed! <laughs> oh! Smart bomb instantly potted! Uh, <laughs> instantly potted, instantly killed. Oh my god, uh, <laughs> no, did you see that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is too good. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I don't want any of this loop, I'll just take it. I don't want the loot, hold on a second. Let me, I gotta get rid of every trace that this happened, all right? All right, this didn't happen. This didn't happen. None of this happened. My D-scan's all wrong, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Woo! All right, that's exactly how this was meant to work. Did you see that? <laughs> did, did you see that? So, <laughs> so just for the record, just for the record, everyone, I would, <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> just for the, <laughs> for everyone who wasn't paying attention, how does this fit work? How this fit works is, you get in range, you decloak and hit your smart bombs, and the person instantly dies. They don't see you. This the exact second that your ship becomes visible on their overview is the same millisecond that they die. So there's no there's no counterplay to it. There's no way to like run from it. The only way you can counterplay it is hopefully have enough tank to live through the explosion. Um, and even if you live through the first explosion, you still are instantly getting hit. By the time you realize what happened, you're already now getting hit by the second round of smart bombs. And by the time you're getting hit by the second round of smart bombs, you could potentially be getting locked and scrammed. And now you're, you're, <laughs> I mean, you saw that, right? He didn't even move. By the time he realized that his ship was gone, he, he's probably like, wait, what? Like, wait, a second ago I was hacking. And now, literally one second later, my ship's gone. And you're like, wait, I thought I was flying a ship. What, where did, 
dude, where's my car? Like, wait, dude, where's my car? And it's just gone. And then now he's processing this. And this is now that the overheated bombs are now five seconds in. And now maybe maybe four seconds in, he's like, oh, my ship's gone. I got to warp out. You start aligning warp out. And that's when the second round of smart bombs blows, <laughs> blows up uh, your pod without having to lock you or anything. And boom, disintegrated. No disintegrations today, Boba Fett. <laughs> It worked! So, how come people don't fly as fit all the time? It's simple, because it's garbage against everything that's not a, a frigate. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, well, you don't need a tackle mod, but I have the tackle mod in case, like, there's an Astero or something, right? Because, in all likelihood, an Astero will not die in one cycle. It's possible it won't even die in two cycles. And the Astero is tanky enough, um, or even like a Tech 2 Explorer, depending on their, you know, resist profile, which one it is and stuff, they might not die in one hit, and you really should have the option to tackle them and throw drones on them if they don't die. Uh, so there you go. Or, you know, I might be just in a situation, I might see an Epithal or something and be able to catch it, and yes, the smart bombs won't kill it instantly, um, and I might need to just apply drones to it or something like that, so... How do you even protect against this? So if you're an explorer, and what I just saw blew your mind, the way it blew this guy's mind when it was in his capsule. Hold on, let me pull up his pod. Um, yeah, no, his pod's empty. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Everyone in my corp is asking me to link the fit. I'm like, come on, guys. Free Light Show, by the way, was the name of my ship. Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> again, this is not a marvelous kill. This would be doable in pretty much any ship in the game. It's not that it's hard to kill an Emicus. It's that this is the only fit in the game and the other fits like it that can kill it instantly with no way to... If done right, no can defense, right? You've all seen Karate Kid, right? This is the, this is the whooping crane kick of EVE Online to frigates. If done right, no can defense. The only defense you can have against what I've just done is to have enough tank to survive the first hit and then to be self-aware enough that you can warp out before the second hit kills you or before the scram lands on you. So that's that's the defense. That That's it. That's the only way to defend against this. Warp drive active. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta catch up to... Uh, I got I got I gotta catch up to the, the stream here um, because there's so much going on when that's happening. Data sites don't make a lot of money. Get her done. Run, little guy. E Scout's in here. By the way, E Scout's coming in after me in about 22 minutes. Run, little guy. Um, holy Jesus Christ! <laughs> holy shit! Kapow! So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, just imagine. There's nothing else in EVE Online. The only thing remotely like this in EVE Online is like um, insta-lock gate camps, right? Where there's a gate camp and they lock you in the first tick and then the second tick they fire and you die. But this is actually faster than insta-lock gate camp because you don't need to get locked first. The same tick <laughs> that I become visible is the tick that they die. And that's, as far as I know, it's, it's instant. And you could just do it. Oh man, so mean, poor bastard. It's like a mouse caught in an industrial trap. Wrecked, boom, yeah, he's home now. Oh man. If you missed it, I mean, that's your fault. I spent an hour and 20 minutes like planning this and, and setting it up, so. Oh man. If stealth bombers can lock you instantly, but they can't kill you, they can lock you and then apply the damage as possible. All right, <clears throat> but they still have to lock you. This ship does not need to lock you. It just needs to be in your proximity. Um, what's the heated damage per mod? So Eve Scout, the damage actually on smart bombs does not increase when you heat them. It only, um, the cycle time increases when you heat them. So they, instead of being every eight seconds, I guess they go every, um, I guess I don't have perfect skills on uh, energy pulse weapons. What is it, pulse, energy pulse? Oh, I do have it, okay. So when you overheat them, they just cycle faster. But you'll see, look, the, the difference here, let me just, um, hold on. 
Normally the cycle time on this is eight seconds effectively, server side, uh, I mean tick wise. So it goes down to like 6.2 seconds or something like that when you overheat it. So instead of eight seconds, it's every seven seconds it fires. It's really not super relevant to overheat them, but I do find that if you're trying to pod the person, it's good to like just overheat two of them so that they will cycle faster. You don't need all of this to pod someone, right? How much HP does a pod have? It's got like, um, Imicus, Imicus, Imicus. Uh, well, yeah, it has 250 HP a pod, something like that, with no implants. So even one of these, I believe, will kill a pod. Yeah, one of these will kill a pod in one hit. So you don't even, as long as you could even just fire five and then leave one. So you could actually kill someone and pod them instantly with them. You could fire five and that will kill them and then and just wait half a second and then fire the sixth one and that'll go in the next tick and then they'll literally just be sitting there hacking and then they'll be like, there's something over killed, there's something on overview, potted like that. Like that's boom, boom, like that. And then they're back in medical. Like what even, what even just happened? Okay. It might be cool to do to Oracle clusters, try and strip the drones and miners after. You could definitely instantly kill drones and, you know, kill um, Rex and stuff. Although Rex gained a lot of HP and stuff, so I don't know about that. It would be nice if I could repair these. Um, I don't know if there's any... So, yeah, delay one. Okay. Yeah, so I hope everyone who's been waiting this whole time for something like that to happen feels like I, I lived up to it because I I was really betting my stream on this. I was really betting <coughs> on my stream that I'd be able to do this. Wow. Did someone clip? I think someone clipped it. How do I share the clip? It should be in, in the channel. I don't know if you clipped it in, in my channel or the CCP channel, but hopefully mine. I hope so. Got to send this guy delivery receipt. Complimentary light show receipt. <laughs> Dear Mr. V. Varon, uh, thank you for choosing Wingspan Delivery. Oh, no typos in these. Delivery services for your deep space entertainment needs. We know it can get boring in wormhole space. It can even get spooky. But most of all, it gets lonely. That's why when I saw you floating in this system, here we go, I knew I had to brighten your day, literally. <laughs> then we just link these things. Da, 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 da. And this this is such a bad word. Sparkle <laughs> motion. All right. I hope you enjoyed your free wingspan. Branded EMP Warhammer Laser Light Show today. It was my <laughs> pleasure to give you a performance so great it knocked you off your seat and back into your medical bay. Yours truly. Chance Ravine, CEO, Wingspan Delivery Services. We're not happy until you're content. Boom! That's a delivery receipt. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Fantastic. What are the odds I'm actually gonna there's no way I'm gonna get someone else in this in this system right now. Was there any Oh, there was a data site in this. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. I ha there's there's data and relic sites in these other systems. I want to go check them. 
See if one's over there. Oh, that's the whole point why I'm at this wormhole. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, send the song. Send the song. I don't believe that anyone is a noob anymore in EVE Online. When you can inject into Titans day one, you can't trust skill point counts or any of this stuff. I mean, look, I've been playing all these years, I don't know what I'm doing. The exact opposite is true, too. There's people, day one characters, smurfing it up. You think smurfing doesn't happen to EVE Online? The problem is, no matter how skilled you are, no matter how, how much expertise you have, again, there's really, Nothing you're gonna defend. You're not gonna defend against that at all, in any way whatsoever. What is this? This is data site two. All right, let me get over here somewhere. I see someone in local. It's possible they're running a data site. It is, but there's potential. There's a buzzard here. Uh oh. Uh oh. It might be. We might get a two for one. We might be able to get it, guys. Oh, shit. Get the probes off. Get the probes off. Get the probes off. All right, warp, 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 warp. Warp drive active. Please tell me he's running this. Oh no! Oh, it just it just ended. He just cleared the site. Oh, I got here one second too late. No, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I got I got a package for you. I got a package. Don't no 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 no. Don't warp. Don't warp. Don't warp. Don't warp. Please don't warp. Please don't warp. No 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 no. Where's he going? Where's he going to? Oh, he cloaked. Ah, lame. Oh, that's the other thing. If you see someone in a sight and they cloak, you could um, you could just straight up. <laughs> you you. <laughs> You could just show up exactly where they are, and just it just blow up. You could just fire the smart bombs exactly where they're standing. Like you don't need to know. You don't need to see them. They just need to be somewhere within six kilometers of you. Uh, they'll still take the damage to smart bombs. Oh, the you're welcome. Okay. Cirque to wingspan. Oh, Beaver, you can't get pissed over an Eve mail, man. It's a video game. I gotta say, people talk about like reactions to the mails and stuff sometimes, but I would say 90% of the responses I get from delivery receipts is positive. 5% is negative, and then 5% is like, what? Like, what, what do you mean? Or like, they don't understand any, you know, they don't get it literally or figuratively, like, what's going on? <coughs> Wait, he's scanning sites. He could be scanning the exact site I just came from. Oh man. Oh man. If he goes in the same site that I just came from. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're not seeing a lot of probes here. What if we go to. Oh. No. What about this one? He's scanning this one a lot. Where the hell does that go? That's strange. It says I don't have it scanned down. Oh, I scanned it down, but I never jumped through it. Oh. I wonder if there's a reason why. Is it another low sec system? What's local looking like? Oh, he left. He might have gone through this wormhole. Oh, those are my probes. Oh, oh right, because I scanned it. Okay. 
He just left anyway. People don't want to hang around. Chance review local. Yeah, don't find anything you can't afford to replace. And don't forget to moisturize. Goes to low sec. Uh. <laughs> Only played Eve for a bit. Over a year, and your series on YouTube has kept me happy. Pretty much everyone is bad at the start. Going south was the shit. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you. Alright, let's see here. I'm just gonna pop my head through this wormhole. Let's see where it goes. I mean, it goes to low sec. I know that. I'm just mean like, where... There could be someone doing something on the other side that's interesting. Now, unfortunately, there's no um, public... <laughs> there's no open... Astro houses and system. I'd love to just get free reps because repairing these expensive modules is not something I'd like to do today. Especially not in the last 10 minutes of stream. But yeah, I mean, I lost my Tengu. I got blacked by Gila Fleet. I was outnumbered 10 to 1. Yeah, I would have preferred not to lose it, but you can't get mad. I mean, this is how the game is, you know? And this is why I keep telling people if you want to play a game that's fair, there's plenty of fair games out there, right? There's there's eSport games that are fair. You can, you're can you free to play any of them anytime you want. Pick up a chessboard, go play someone. You know, these are games where the person of superior skill experience will win. It's not about blobbing or anything like that. Um, but EVE Online is not that game. EVE Online is a game about opportunity. That's what it's a game about. I guess let's go to the sun. I don't know. Warp drive active. We got someone in local here. I don't know what they're doing. We got a bunch of signatures in the middle of the system. Please tell me this guy's running site. Please. Uh, Rex. Someone might have been running a site. He's probably docked up, honestly. Nothing. Oh, lame. Alright, let me go back up the chain one more time. I kind of want to smart bomb some rats. <laughs> I want to smart bomb a rat. And just watch it explode. Watch that somehow just... Oh, so I lost the stealth bomber to a clone soldier. I didn't realize that clone soldiers had long points on them. Like, I knew they were dangerous, but I didn't know how dangerous. It turns out they're dangerous enough to have a long point, and, okay, these guys might die to a, um, to a bomb. Where are they? They're over there. Alright, let's line over here. Oh, my safety is set to... Oh, okay, I see. Because I'm in low sec. Disable safety. Come on, you son of a bitch. What happens if I hit this? Can I jam them? Okay, this guy's in range. Hold on, watch. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, goodbye, rats. I feel like I'm, I'm saying, like, good night, moon. Good night, rats. Good night, moon. Good night. Boom, and you're dead too. Wow, that's really satisfying. That is incredibly satisfying. Okay, wow, that was, that was easy. Oh, wait, there's a venture here. Mining venture one. Now, normally mining venture is excellent bait because with its warp core stabs. Sorry. Guys, I'm just excited. I need to get this venture, okay? Normally when you see a mining venture, you're like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna catch it because it's stabbed to hell. I don't need to catch it. I just need to get in range. Oh, there's a catalyst out here too. Did it just kill that venture? How much HP does a catalyst have? It'd be pretty risky, huh? 1600. Plus they do a lot of damage. They just killed that poor venture, I think. 
No. Does Aventry count as a Galente wreck? Does anyone know? Oh, he's sitting on the outpost. Okay, I can't go in there. Let me just see. Oh, that venture's back. <clears throat> Is it over here? No. Here? Maybe. Definitely. I'm going to try to get this venture. <clears throat> the thing is, normally if a venture is tanked, it's going to be shield tanked, which is going to have no resists. Um, come on. No, he's not over here? Where the hell is he? I don't get it. Is he at that structure? Is he over here somewhere? No. Here. No. Here. No. Wait, that's not right either. Hold on a second. Okay, come on. Three minutes left on stream. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there he is. All right. Let me go to my tack and then give this a shot. And then this is going to be to close the stream out, all right? Oh, no, I'm not far enough. Damn it. Wait, what the hell's going on? My controls are all off. Ugh. I gotta warp off and warp back. Warp drive active. I gotta warp off and warp. Sorry, hold on a second. This is gonna be the last thing for the night. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. Oh, thank you, you scout. Alright, guys, this is gonna hurt my security status, but I'm gonna go for it. I pot him, I guess that's bad. Now there's five people in local. Alright, let's see. Come on. No. No. Oh, I could have saved the um that thing and just landed on zero, but someone warn him? See, that's why! That's why I have the OPSEC. It's not to protect me, it's to protect our customers. If someone wants to go tell our customer about my secret surprise party that's coming, that is atrocious, okay? This is why we can't have good things, people. You don't want OPSEC on my stream, you can't have people in my chat saying someone go warn our customer. That's just mean. That's mean, okay? Now let's see, is there anything even remotely uh, 40, uh, I gotta do some math here, 14, 15, 13, ooh, let's try this, <clears throat> I'm gonna go back out and come back in. Ooh. Okay. So the thing is, this guy's kind of within 6,000. This guy's within 6,000. So that should mean that this is possible. Your security status has been lowered. Ooh. Drive. 
All right, and there you go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do the music. I feel so bad. Oh, man. Boom. Single shot. That's what I'm saying. One shot, one opportunity. <laughs> I'll just do it now. All right, there you go. You happy? One shot. Bam. One punch. Uh... Look at that. There we go. Oh, man. Lel. You saw it. It works. The machine works, people. <laughs> all right. Wow. Bam. That's it. That's all you have to do. I don't. I try. I didn't want to to um, pot him because I don't really need to take that much of a security hit. I'll take a small one, but not that. Not a huge one. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot about the. Um, I forgot about the music ahead of time. I'm not used to using the stream deck all the time. <clears throat> but speaking of music, speaking of music, everyone, it's time for Eve Scout to show up. So, uh, everyone, I'm Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on the planet, chance for being in-game CEO of Wingspan Delivery Services. It's been my pleasure to be your streamer, du noir, aujourd'hui, um, uh, ce soir, uh, to show you stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll come back next time. Stream on Mondays and Thursdays. Stream on my channel. Stream on CCP's channel. Stream on all the channels. On your channel, on your personal dial. And I'd like to, I hope I'll see you then. I'm just talking just to fill the time for the music. And I'll see you then. Cheers!